Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've dyed a wig, so that's what we're gonna do here today. VP Fashion sent me this wig because they're having their sixth anniversary sale. So during this time, you can get anywhere from like 15 to $30 off wigs or extensions. And in celebration of that, I get to dye this wig. So all the info for this wig and all of that will be down below. I have been really trying to think about what I want to do with this wig because I did one wig all, you know, sort of cool toned blues, purples, and then I did a complete opposite wig of like red and orange. So I don't know what I want to do with this one. I think I want to do it pastel. I didn't actually buy any dye for this. I think we're just going to go and use what I have. So we're going to have to dig through my hair dye stash and see what we have going on here. This wig also pretty much does have like its own part already and it's already sort of like pre-plucked with some baby hairs and stuff like that so I can't possibly mess it up too much. So let's go look through my hair dye stash and see what I have, see what we have to work with and then we'll get on with it. Okay so I'm in my bathroom, I'm gonna pull out all the dye I have. I really needed to go through all this anyway because I have a lot of like new shades from Arctic Fox and I might want to try using them, but they are scattered amongst my items here. So one of the colors that I had in mind was Ritual. I think this is one of the newer ones and it's like a dark maroon, but we could like really, really dilute it down and I think that might be fun. I don't know what kind of pink that would make. I have a lot of blue, but I don't know if I want to do it blue because I already did a lot of blue on that other one that I have. And then Blue Jean Baby. This is a new one too. This is also like a darker color. It's like a super dark blue. This might be fun to dilute as well. I still have quite a bit of this purple from Uberless. I do have a little bit of Chocolate Cherry from Lime Crime. Ugh. Do you guys like my box of extensions? <laughs> I have an appointment to get my roots done and then I think the next color that I do is going to be completely different from what I normally do. And I'm gonna actually, I think, wear some extensions. I think it'll be fun. Okay, and then I have a lot of this. This is a lot of the Kiss Temptation dye. Uh, some Sparks, some more Arctic Fox. I think that's it in here. Some of these Joyco ones. I don't think I'll use these though. I didn't realize I had so many different shades of these. Like, I don't think I have a lot of like the same color. But just so many, how many of these can I hold in my hand? So many different shades. Okay, so I think I actually just want to do these new colors. So Ritual and Blue Jean Baby, and I want to dilute them down a lot. So I'm going to make these pastel, but to do that, I need conditioner. And I don't have any conditioner that I don't care about to mix with. Okay, I know this video is devolving, but I have to try these grapes that I found. I found gummy berries, grapes, and the cotton candy grapes are back in stock. I think it's a sign I need to do cotton candy hair on that wig. So why else would they have these? I can't think of another reason. But I've never tried the gummy bear ones before. I think these are new. I don't taste any gummy bear. Okay, just kidding, I do. I don't know if they're worth $7 though. Anyway, got the conditioner, let's go back. Everyone is being so loud today. I, there's literally nothing I can do. Half diluted ritual, half diluted blue jean baby. So let's get started. I'm going to part this like straight down the middle or I'm gonna try to anyway. Okay, we're gonna focus on this side. Put on some gloves because I have some white nails right now that I'm sure are still going to get stained. I got two of these because I feel like I'm going to need one for each side. Okay, I don't know how much I have. Oh, okay. I'm going to try that much at first. So I have a feeling I don't, I'm not going to need that much. Okay, a little bit more. I doubt I'll need any more than this. I just want to make sure that there's enough to actually, you know, Dye the wig. Last thing I need is to do it twice. All right, you know, let's just go in. Hopefully I have enough. 
right? And if I don't, then... <sighs> I really should have thought this through about going from top to bottom because I can't layer the hair over the other side. Okay, I actually think I've gotten all the roots for the most part to slather the rest on because, you know, that's just what's happening today. I'm starting to think I should have got a lot more conditioner. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to dye things by doing them in like hot water. So I think that what I'm gonna do to these to this wig is I think I'll do each side and then I will do the hot water thing and so it can make sure that every strand has some sort of bluish color, if you know what I mean. I think that's how we're gonna fix the needing 20 bottles of conditioner problem. I think I had shown you guys how to do that on a video. It's like how to dye your hair the lazy way. I also watched one YouTube video about how to dye these and it was called like how to dye your hair the lazy way. So just know that's where I'm getting my instructions. Cause at this point, I think I'm officially defeated with how much dye I had. So let's do the pink. All right, same deal with this shade. All right, this one's pretty dark too. Maybe like that much, uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I probably won't need any more than that. That one is super, super dark. Okay, here is the finished shade. So this wig stand just does not want to grab onto the table material, so now it's on a ladder. All right, not exactly how I pictured this going. I just wanted to have a smooth video. Okay, here's the wig. I'm really over this right now. Let's go do the water dyeing or whatever. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is fill up a bowl with hot water. It is a lot easier to have the dye break up by using a strainer and then you are going to just let the hair soak for, I don't know, a good couple minutes and then it should be pretty well seeped in there. Hopefully this will even everything out a little bit more so there's no like big blonde chunks or anything like that. I'm going to do my best to dry this and then style it, put it on, and hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from here. So I don't know why the mannequin head thingy will not stick to the table, but it'll stick to this ladder. So that's what I'm working with. I'm gonna put in some of this like bond repair stuff throughout. And some of this oil. Okay, so all dry. There was a tiny bit of overlap, and so there's like a tiny bit of purple up here, but it's fine. I think that I'm going to style this now. All right, then I'm gonna just spray a little bit of this protecting spray before I straighten each part. Perfect. I never went through and like really styled my other wigs as much as I should have like right after they were dried and I need to go back and do that and make sure to straighten down the roots and do everything like that but see this is so much better. My other ones aren't like this silky soft because I never took the time so I'm going to go back and do that that way 
I can wear them all more, especially with my hair looking a mess like this. I want to change the color literally right now, but my roots aren't getting done for like three weeks, so I'm in a dilemma. This wig stand sucks. Okay, so far so good. Look how soft and shiny it is. I think it's turning out really good. I was a little scared. There is obviously a little bit of varying shades, but I would say for the most part, we're pretty good on the colors. Okay, this is it pretty much just as is. I think I'm gonna put it in like a cute hairstyle, but here it is just like all by itself. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the colors are really pretty. I'm really happy with these colors. I feel like they're not like normal pastel colors. Like usually pastel blue, you get more of like either like a mint. You don't usually get this like dusty sort of color. I Okay, so earlier I just ended up getting really frustrated and nothing was going the way I wanted it to. So I've cut out me struggling to style this wig for literally two hours. It'll all be in the bloopers or outtakes or whatever. So now let's put this wig on. I'm just going to pin it a couple places just to have it stay a little easier. If I was going out with the wig, I would obviously like pin it way more, but Considering it's like, I don't know, 11 p.m. I don't foresee myself going out tonight. My heart is again. So now that this is on, I am going to go do my makeup really quick. If you want to see the makeup that I'm about to skip to, the video will be on my Instagram. Because this video is enough of a mess already. I do not need to add in like a tutorial. Okay, so I'm officially done. I have my makeup on. I think I got the hair pinned to how I like it. I think I just needed to push it down a little bit so it like flattens out. I think it was a little too poofy, but with the pins, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I literally didn't even realize until I was doing my makeup and I was thinking about doing like one side blue, one side pink, that this is sort of like a Harley Quinn moment. It didn't hit me until now. <laughs> <laughs> um, wasn't what I was going for, but I'm not mad about it. Here is the back. I don't know how it looks. Hopefully it looks good. So I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a mess. I feel like I hadn't done something like hair related in a little bit. So I hope those of you that are here for hair are happy. I would really appreciate it if you give this a like. It does help me out a lot. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye! I can't just snatch it off, it has clips. So yeah, the Halloween background is up, just on the wall, just chilling. Because this head, you can see the difference in pastels. <laughs> Although my hair is just a mess, pretty much. Um, this thing is the worst, honestly. Of course, camera would be dying. Of course it would, why wouldn't it? Nothing else can go wrong.
this rough sense off. Ugh, the buns do not look amazing. I had to pull the hair away because I know I need to like cut it and make some bangs or some layers or something, but I really don't like cutting wigs. It kind of scares me. So this, so this wig is like really secure. Like it's not going anywhere. Get this thing on. The cotton candy grapes are where it's at. They were so expensive though. 